In this short tutorial, we're going to take a look at using a table of contents and bookmarks as navigation tools in navigating and organizing a NISIS Writer document. The first thing you'll need to do is open up the Navigator pane, which is under the View menu. Click View, Navigator, Show Navigator or Command Shift N. And you'll see this panel open up to the left. Uh, and in this case, it opened up with the table of contents. Now, right now, we don't have any table of contents defined. So we're going to define some. And we're going to start with the title of this document. I will highlight the title. I'll right click, include the table of contents as level one. Now, that once that's defined, you'll see it pop into the table of contents column or the pane on the left hand side. And you can go through the document and continue to do that. However, there is an easier way if you have header sections or headers defined, which in the case, this case, I do. So I've got header one and header two both defined. And if you look, this is a header two as well as this. So using styles, I can switch to the style sheet now, select header one, select the sample text, again, right click, include table of in the table of contents, level one. And you'll see now I've got this table of contents definition in the style. If I go to header two, Right now, you don't see the table of contents definition. I'll select the sample text, add table of contents as level two. And now we see in table of contents, default TOC, level two. I'm gonna go back to my document now, and I've got the entire table of contents, level one and two, using headers one and two. And you can see we can navigate through this document using the table of contents that we've defined. Now for the reader, we, this table of contents is not yet useful. So we can add the table of contents into the document. I will say contents, return. Now to add this table of contents, I'll go to tools, table of contents, and I want to insert a table of contents. When I do that, the table of contents in default style is inserted into the document and it's available for the reader now to, to look at. And you will probably, it's not obvious, but you will be aware, become aware that these numbers are actually hyperlinked. So if I want to go to reference, the weather reference sites, I can click on the double click on three and it takes me to that header and that section in the document. Now, navigating back to the table of contents is really just going back to the doc top of the document. And I can do that through this table of contents navigation pane. And I can go to any section that has a table of contents defined. Now suppose I don't have a table of contents or I have a different method of navigation or need to navigate as an author of writing this document. You can use bookmarks for that purpose. And in this case, I want to make contents a bookmark. So I'll highlight contents, right click, and add a bookmark. The next thing I'd like to do is go to the weather reference sites. And I'm going to make this a bookmark as well. So add bookmark. But I also want to be able to return back to the table of contents within the document fairly easily. So I'm going to say return to TLC. So I want to highlight this text. I want to insert a hyperlink and I want to link to a bookmark. And when I click that, the list of available bookmarks is displayed. And in this case, since I want to go back to the contents, I'll select that, 
and insert. And now I've got a hyperlink that will take me back to the contents. I can go back to the weather reference sites through this table of contents link. Or, alternately, I can switch from the table of contents as a navigation tool using this gear and go to show bookmarks. Right now I only have two bookmarks, but I could very easily navigate between the bookmarks using this list. And I can make more and more bookmarks as, as the document gets longer. And using these hyperlinks, I can easily let the reader go back and forth in the document as long as an electronic version is being used. So that is a very quick overview of what hyperlinks and bookmarks and table of contents can do for you in terms of navigating through your document. You can use bookmarks to navigate. You can show the table of contents and use the table of contents to navigate. Table of contents can be set up through the style definition. If you remember, switch to styles and define the table of contents there. There is a lot more that can be done with table of contents and bookmarks, and I highly recommend referencing the user's guide. And it's easily accessed using the nicest writer pro help under the help menu, which will bring you to the PDF version of the user guide. It's fairly easy to navigate to the table, to creating a table of contents. There, as you can see, there are several subsections there, including outlines, table of contents, indices, uh, and so forth. And you can also work with bookmarks. And there is a considerable amount of detail in this user guide about uh, creating and working with bookmarks. So highly recommend looking at both of those. And that should help you get started in using uh, contents and bookmarks to navigate through a, a complex document.